I rub it with oxy dry. Unusual carpet. This is the carpet you typically would find in a motel or something. And it's about 15 years old and we got some pretty worn patches here. And it's, you actually see the pile is kind of compressed. Even in the hallway I can see a little dip from the under pad, I think, has compressed here. I'll know that much more obviously when I run the machine over because I can really feel it. But for 15 years, you know, it's not bad, I guess. So we're going to do a hog's ear fiber pad and then an iron man on this. might be uh, worn out there. I gotta double check that. I got extra clutches. They do actually. Um, they can wear out. Yeah, you can. I can feel the dip. There's like a little valley in the middle of this hallway. This is uh, um, low speed, 200 RPM. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is a nylon or a polypropylene, actually. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it likes that. But it's really worn, really. The pile is really compressed right here. This is where the coach was sitting. But look at that. That staining coming off of there. Instantly. The, this is the hog tier fire pad, so I only really need to run this over the high traffic areas. I don't need to go over every inch of the carpet at all. So that's if you're wondering why I'm not quite going up to the edge, I'll do that when I do the extraction step. But again, that's really, really packed down right in here. But the uh, hog tier fire pad is lifting it pretty well. It's not compressing it, it's lifting it up, separating the iron. Just very good at doing.
This is uh, in a gated community, one of the uh, bigger ones in, in Kelowna. I've been in here many times over the decades, <laughs> and I actually cleaned the clubhouse here. Got a clubhouse and uh, even a pool. Outdoor pool, I guess. I think it is, anyway. My in-laws used to live in here. A few years ago now. possible I won't need to vacuum or groom this carpet after. Oh, I probably will. Probably will anyway, I think, but... Hmm. Nice backyard. Are these actually uh, modular homes. It's actually a pretty nice place. I could live here, I guess. Maybe I will one day. <laughs> Just gonna run into the middle of the closet there. You see how I can maneuver around so easily? This is the, one of the many strengths of the rotary is the ability to... I mean, you're literally cleaning in every direction that you go. And that's one of the things I really like about it. I mean, literally, no matter what direction you're going, you're, cl you're, you're able to clean. Back when I used the Von Schrader machine, um, many, many moons ago, with my dad initially, but um, the way it works is you have to um, basically you, you, you clean across the room and then you come back, reposition over, and then clean across the room and again come back, or you can go back and then come back, you know, like, like you're using an electric lawnmower or whatever, although that's not always convenient, but anyway, it, a lot of maneuvering to reposition the machine to where you can actually start to clean. In fact, that's one of the things I discovered about it when I used it about, I, I bought one over, over 10 years ago, thinking that maybe I would go back to it. And it's like, oh my goodness, what a terrible mistake that was. And I realized that I literally would have to drop a minimum of one job a day from my schedule, just to, I, I, it just took so much, so much more time it was just shocking, really shocking, how much more efficient the rotary is. It's just so much better. It's just night and day. And I can absolutely outclean the uh, Von Schrader with my rotary easily, easily. It's just amazing. I have one, <laughs> a very old uh, Von Schrader machine. If you go into my uh, playlist, 
Um, I've actually got some videos there showing it in action. It's, it's really, they're an amazing machine, really they are, but sorry. We're, we're way past that as far as efficiency and performance. I don't think they're even, I think they're out of business now, although I'm not positive, but anyway, that was a, t that was a time. Interesting machine to use though, very interesting. Okay, well, now we're gonna do a switch over to the Iron Man. Oh, I think I know what happened. It's missing these shoulders, and I think it it went into the wrong position. So I actually need to replace this clutch. Boy, this one is drawing really fast. It's weird how some carpets do that. They, oh boy, this is spinning that fast. Some carpets really dry fast though. I'll just go up to slow speed. I don't need to do high speed on this one. It's cleaning really well.
This is where the really worn patch is right here. You can see the pile is all fused together and it's actually got a it's compressed right there as well. And I can feel it when I go over it with the machine. But it's clean. The soil is removed. But it's still it's still worn there. A very, very nice machine to clean with. Very uh, relaxing, actually. Now, some guys say that when they use a rotary that they, uh, it, it hurts their back. If that's the case, you're probably holding it a little bit too high, the handle that is. Probably you need to drop the handle. You really shouldn't be bothered, I mean, unless you really actually do have a bad back. <laughs> um, but I used, you know, if you saw my videos a few back where I cleaned uh, with this machine all day long, literally, I mean, I cleaned for like seven hours straight. By the time I got to the end, I was beginning to feel it a little bit in my lower back. But that's simply because I'm literally on my feet that many hours. The actual, um, the idea of it stressing your back, it shouldn't be doing that because you shouldn't be twisting your back. I'm not, like when I go to the left and I go to the right, I'm not pivoting at my waist. I'm actually turning my entire body. I'm pivoting actually on the balls of my feet, as it were. I'm actually taking a step to the left and my whole body is turning, not not my, just my upper body, but my whole body. You don't twist and, and turn with your back. That will wear you out. Nor are you wanting to be sort of pulling up and holding the handle of the machine, um, you know, the weight of the machine on your on your arms. It should be the weight should actually be resting against your leg. The handle of the machine rests literally hang on so I can do this <laughs> there we go this is what's happening I'll work my way out of here I'll show you
So, here we go. So the machine is sitting, literally, the handle's resting at my leg, I guess my thigh, and it never leaves there. So I'm not holding up, I'm not, it's not my arms that are holding it up, it's actually just kind of leaning against me, as it were. This is the, the key to using these things all day long. See, it's not, I'm not, most of the time, this is exactly what it's doing, it's just leaning against my leg as I move forward, I just give it a slight tug upward, I mean, you can already, it's almost imperceptible what I'm doing. That's how simple this is. Okay, we're gonna stop and look at the pad. Ooh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Hmm, that's actually really grubby. So, we're gonna do a B-side. Hmm. That's probably mostly footwear, footwear transfer staining. Judging from the, uh, the black uh, spot in front of the, the couch. It was so black there, I was thinking we might have a more soil here than we think. So we're going to run over it again. change the clutch. Oh, okay. You want to see, uh, here we go. Okay. You can watch me now this way. shown this quite like this before. I mean literally you can see I'm just it's literally my as I take a stride forward my right foot and then I kind of lean sort of sort of I'm rocking back and forth forward and then I'm leaning back out a little bit just it becomes it's like the machine is actually attached to me. I'm not using my arms to make this thing move actually. I'm using my weight, and I'm just holding it up against my body. It's so simple. And I'm standing straight. I'm not hunched forward. Anybody who's having difficulty with this, it's almost always going to be because of the way they're holding the machine and the way that they're trying to control or maneuver it. I'm just adding a little bit of solution. You can see this finger here. That's where I'm adding it, just a little bit because this carpet is a real fast dryer. I won't need to go over there. It's really only the, the traffic areas where the soiling will be uh, have accumulated. This isn't making the carpet look any different than it already looks because 
virtually all the um, soil that was emulsified has been absorbed by the first pass, but I'm probably going to pick up a little bit, but it's not going to make any difference to the actual vis visual um, appearance of the carpet to do this. In this case, anyway. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning and we'll take a look at the B-side. Interesting. That makes me think that this is a Traxta because it, it will hold on to oils and soils and hide it really well. So I'm actually going to go out and I'm going to grab another pad. I'm going to run another pad on this carpet. And I'm actually going to switch out the, uh, the pad driver because that's what's happening. If it, it's supposed to go down, oh, here. <laughs> Sorry. Way it's supposed to work is the uh, hub supposed to slide down into here but if it slides into here then it hooks into here and that's not the proper position it won't hook up properly so it's missing um this one when i got this one i already had one missing so anyway i'll fix that i'm gonna go grab another pad i i think i'm gonna benefit with another pass so I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.